what's good, world? It's your boy, GL, man. You already know, man. I'm back with another one, man. This right here, man. It's about your boy, Takashi, man. Takashi Meister, man. He done got locked up, man. They said that they hit him with, like, like some violations for his probation, man. And they done picked your boy up, man. And they said that he was trying to do a like an album or something like that he had coming out. He was working on. He said he was about to blow that up, man. And he, he about to blow the he about to blow the toilet up. Yeah, man. You know, I got my I got I got my uh, my little nephews, the young youngest son. How they say? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you ain't the youngest one, but. Uh, yeah, man, they done picked him up, man. Your boy, uh, he about to enjoy that jail time, man. Um, that's stupid, if you ask me. I just got to let y'all check this video out, man. Hit the comments, man. I know y'all all, all going to put laughing emojis and stuff like that that's in the, in the comments. But, uh, yeah, hit that up, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. You're watching ABC News Live. I'm Stephanie Wash here in Manhattan, New York. In the federal courthouse just behind me, rapper Takashi 69, also known as Daniel Hernandez, was sentenced to 24 months in federal prison for his federal racketeering case. Now, it's not the outcome that the rapper had wanted here today. He was likely expecting to walk right out of these courtroom doors after spending 13 months in federal prison. But a judge told him to never, ever regret cooperating with the federal government in this case because had he not, his sentence would have been much longer. Federal prosecutors had suggested that time served would be enough in this case, but the judge ultimately had to take into consideration that Takashi 69 largely instigated vengeful, contracted acts of violence against other musicians all over New York City, saying his conduct was simply too violent, too sustained, and too selfish. Takashi 69 pled guilty to these charges back in February, providing since then extraordinary cooperation in the takedown of an extremely violent gang called Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods. Takashi joined that gang back in 2017, he says, where he helped fund and promote the gang to sell and promote his own music. Today, Hernandez asking the judge for mercy, saying, I lost myself. The judge calling this call for mercy genuine. Takashi also asking for a second chance to use his platform to correct his wrongs. And an extraordinary moment here in court today where he did right one of these wrongs, apologizing to the face of a victim that appeared in court and gave a victim impact statement, also offering to pay any bills for physical therapy and things that have arisen out of a shooting incident she was wounded in. Now, as far as as far as what Daniel Hernandez can do outside of federal prison, we will have to wait to see. He's expected to be released in late 2020. That will be followed by five years of supervised release and a fine of $35,000. For ABC News Live, I'm Stephanie Wash. Takashi 69 is back in federal custody. The controversial rapper's been arrested for allegedly violating his supervised release. This isn't his first rodeo with the law. Remember his 2018 RICO case? He snitched then, but who's he gonna rat on now? 6ix9ine just signed a big deal with Cartel Music, but that might be on ice. Federal custody's no joke, and this could be the end of his stardom. But let's be real, 6ix9ine always finds a way to make headlines. Stay tuned for more drama. Today we're talking about Takashi, otherwise known as Daniel Hernandez. Right. And uh, he's back in the news. He is. Because he was just arrested again. Yeah. And this time at a Manhattan federal courthouse. So this arrest stems from alleged parole violations. Oh, okay. Related to his 2019 racketeering case. Right. The one where he ended up cooperating with the authorities. Exactly. And because of that, they actually gave him a reduced sentence. Right. So now he may be facing more legal issues. So when we say supervised release violation. Yeah. What exactly are we talking about here? Well, it means he didn't follow the specific conditions the court set after he was released. Gotcha. And these can vary. It could be things like maintaining employment, right. avoiding certain locations, well, mandatory drug testing, mm -hmm. even restrictions on who he can associate with. So what kind of consequences are we talking about? It all depends, you know, on the nature of the violations. Mm -hmm. It could be anything from a warning, okay. stricter supervision, right. or even a full revocation of his supervised release. 
So basically going back to prison. Exactly. And this isn't even his only recent trouble with the law, right? No, no. Earlier this year, he was arrested in the Dominican Republic. Oh, yeah, that's right. And that involved allegations of domestic violence against his girlfriend. Who was also a rapper. Yeah, Yaelene Lamas Viral. But his lawyer denied those accusations. That's right, he did. So that's a whole other thing. Separate issue, yes. Than what's happening in New York? Completely. But it does seem like there's a pattern here. It does, doesn't it? Because remember, he was also attacked Yeah. at a gym in Los Angeles right. earlier this year. Yeah, that was brutal. Do we think that could be connected to his past gang ties? It's possible. I mean, a lot of people speculated that it could be uh -huh. because of his history with the nine tray bloods. Right. And remember that whole thing about him cooperating with authorities. Oh, absolutely. A lot of people saw that as snitching. Yeah. In that world, you don't do that. You don't cross that line. No. And in 2019, he was indicted on some serious charges, right? Oh, yeah. Racketeering conspiracy, yeah. firearms offenses, yeah. drug trafficking. Right. I mean, the list goes on. Yeah. And he decided to cooperate. It did. Huge gamble. It was. On the one hand, it got him a lighter sentence. Yeah. But on the other, it made him a target. I mean, yeah. Not just in the criminal world. Right. But the music industry as well. It's like he broke some unwritten rule. You could say that. A lot of people felt betrayed. Right. It's like he chose his own safety over loyalty. And the thing is, all this is happening. Yeah. Against a backdrop right. of another legal situation. Right. The one from before all this. Yeah. In 2015. Yes. He pleaded guilty hmm. to the use of a child yes. in a sexual performance. I mean, it's a tough one to talk about. Yeah. But it's there. Can't ignore it. No. He admitted to being involved huh? with a 13-year-old girl. And this resurfaced as he became famous. Yeah, it definitely sparked outrage. Rightfully so. Absolutely. And it really made people question yeah. his character. For sure. His celebrity. Yeah. It's a piece of the puzzle. For sure. That you can't really ignore. You really can't. So now what? Good question. What's next for him? I mean, legally, yeah. the system will have to decide what happens with this parole violation. But what about his career? That's harder to say. I mean, can he come back from all this? That's up to the public, isn't it? I guess so. Will they separate the art from the artist? It's a tough one. It really is. But, you know, this whole story yeah. really makes you think <laughs> oh, wow. about how fame yeah. can really amplify everything. It can. The good and the bad both sides and it makes you wonder how much does someone's past really affect their future especially these days when yeah. everything is out there on social media and amplified yeah it's food for thought right definitely thanks for listening everybody and we'll see you next time massive breaking news takashi 69 has been arrested famous rapper famous influencer Takashi 69 has been arrested for actually violating the conditions of his <laughs> supervision release. So right now, Takashi is under custody, right? The feds have got him. He's been arrested. And this is just a quick update, right? Takashi 69 arrested. Takashi 69 was arrested today for allegedly violating of his supervised release following his cooperation in the nine trade case here as i remember a couple years ago six nine was supposedly snitched on his boys and yeah you know he's been free ever since and what makes this even worse is that supposedly six nine is being held in the same jail that diddy is being held in until november 12th so this man is literally sitting in the same jail as this bro but he was arrested for violating his probation by traveling to Las Vegas with no permission and fleeing to DR through Haiti and testing positive for meth. This is actually crazy. This man, 6 9 just sent his ass back to jail after snitching for no reason. So at this point, why did he snitch? Like, at this point, you're just back in jail. So I guess we'll let us in the comment section.